one of the oldest cities in the world, Lisbon has a rich history dating back some 3,000 years. With its cultural offerings, warm climate and an attractive network of side streets, the Portuguese capital attracts around 2 million tourists every year. Transworld Sport paid a visit to Lisbon recently to meet up with reigning Olympic triple jump champion Nelson Evera. The 27-year-old was born in the Ivory Coast to parents from Cape Verde. When Nelson was five, the Evera family moved here to the Portuguese capital. They settled in the northwest of Lisbon and it was in their apartment block where Nelson forged a childhood friendship that would have a defining influence on his future. My relationship with my coach started in the building in which we lived. He used to be my neighbor, and we always bumped into each other and chatted together. One day, he saw me playing with his youngest son, David Gantz, and things just started from there, really. That neighbor was João Gantz, a former Portuguese record holder in the high jump. He was quick to spot Nelson's natural athleticism and suggested that he take up track and field. I noticed that he had certain motor skills. He had great speed and balance. He was very light on his feet and he could jump. My son and him would play a game where they would put several rocks on the floor and jump in between them. Nelson had a natural ability and a good physique and you could see that he loved jumping. They played those sorts of games for hours. Watching them, I quickly realized that although he was very young, Nelson had a lot of potential as an athlete. I must be honest though, and say that I never imagined that he would become who he is today. Under the guidance of Coach Gantz, Nelson took up athletics. He started off as a high jumper and only switched to the triple jump when he was 18. It proved an inspired decision. In my opinion, the triple jump is one of the most beautiful events in all of athletics. I believe that the event combines a number of different techniques and other things. You need to have balance, speed and even self-confidence and also a lot of intelligence. You need to have all of these qualities in order to become a good triple jumper. Ever a one gold at the 2007 World Championships in Osaka with a personal best of 17.74 meters. A year later came Nelson's finest hour to date at the Beijing Olympics. The standard of competition in the triple jump final was fierce, with the league changing hands four times between Evera and Britain's Philip Sidou. But in the fourth round, Evera's leap of 17.67 meters secured him the gold medal. It was an extraordinarily emotional moment for both of us, for various reasons. It had been a year of great sacrifice. At the time of the Olympics, Nelson's father was very ill, and his mother had recently passed away. There were a lot of mixed emotions when he won. It had been a tough year. We had to train and also look after family matters. It was very hard on him. So we were all overjoyed and immensely satisfied by his performance in Beijing. Before becoming Olympic champion, we all felt that Nelson was going to do it. And he did. Of course, it is something to be proud of. 
But at the same time, there were so many things running through my head. It's like your mind is doing overtime. You want to cry, you want to laugh, you want to sing the national anthem. It was a magic moment, and one which I'll never forget. Evra's victory in Beijing was only Portugal's fourth Olympic gold medal, following on from the triumphs of long-distance greats Carlos Lopez, Rosa Mota and Fernando Ribeiro. Becoming his country's first Olympic champion in the field events is something that he hopes can provide inspiration for future Portuguese athletes. I'm aware that in everything I do, I'm a role model for the youngsters who follow me. I consider that to be a great honor. I'm also aware that I can be an example to the younger generation, to the new generation of athletes, even after my career is finished. That is why I always try to choose the right path in life and do things with as much integrity as possible. Since Beijing, Evora has become a household name in Portugal, and his celebrity status has brought with it a number of sweet benefits. When Transworld Sport was in town, Nelson was enjoying a private tour of Lisbon's famed cake shop, Pastéis de Belém. Yet whilst Evra is more than happy to enjoy the sweet taste of success, the triple jump remains very much his prime focus. The event has become one of the most competitive in all of track and field. In 2009, Evra lost his world crown to Philip Sidowu, and with names such as Marian Opera, David Giralt, and a fit again Christian Olsen on the scene, the margin for error this season is thin. It's spectacular at the moment. There are eight outstanding athletes and anything can happen. At any moment someone can pull off a spectacular jump. I'm passionate about athletics and about competing. I love to compete. I love tough competitions even if I don't win them. That is what keeps me motivated and I'm always looking to improve. Unfortunately injury has hampered Evera's last two seasons. He competed just once in 2010, and a foot injury curtailed this year's indoor season for him. In his absence, another young triple jumper, Teddy Tamgo of France, has emerged as the major force in the event, threatening Jonathan Edwards' long-standing world record of 18.29 meters. Yet, Evera is back competing, and his future objectives are clear retaining his gold medal at next year's London Olympics. I know what I have to do to win there, and I'm confident. There's still a lot of hard work to be done, but I believe that I will be able to successfully defend my title. And I truly believe that it will be the most important test of my life, because it will be so difficult. Yet, it will be a beautiful competition to watch especially for those who like a good show. And now for this week's question. 